Today we are going to build this low profile underground survival starter house. If you enjoy, make sure to subscribe. I'm Spikeosaurus and welcome to the channel. How's it going everybody? I'm going to do things a little different today and instead of an extreme transformation, we're going to do a chill laid back build and there will be no world edit used. Hope you like it, let's jump right in. So as I plop down into this fresh vanilla world, I start to look for an area that is relatively flat and covered with a fair amount of trees. Hmm, well this spawn area here is exactly what I'm looking for, so we are going to build pretty much right where I spawned in. Got pretty lucky I guess. For this base, the whole idea is to dig a hole down at a slight angle and build underground but with the front of the house facing forward toward the hill that we are creating. So first I just dig down a small rectangular area with a slight angle until I think the back wall is tall enough for a comfortable starting house height. Next, we mark off where we want the front and smooth the surrounding area a bit so that it fits into the rest of the terrain. I also build out a small overhang which lies above the house to make it feel almost like the beginning of a cave and then I replace the rest of the stone with grass for a better front yard area. Next up, I start digging out how far back I want the house to go. And I only dig as far back as I would if I were actually playing with a basic set of tools because I want this to be something that you can all easily build as well. I also build the front of the house with a single glass window and a few elements to create depth. The glass panes instead of glass blocks, terracotta on the sides and the small doorway help with that depth. I also add fence posts to break up the view of the large window which also act as the supports for the overhang above the house. Now to really give the house a feeling of being integrated into the landscape, I add a small stream leading down to a small pond, and then I add in a good amount of oak and birch trees to match the biome. And I also extend the overhang out a bit so the house feels like it's more tucked in. Lastly, I add a pathway up and over the hill, plenty of grass with the help of bone meal and a small front porch, as well as a few hand-built trees because the small derpy ones were not giving the exact effect that I wanted. I also tried adding in a fire pit to the front area, but the front couch caught on fire, so I made it a table instead. Okay, with the outside done, it's time to move inside. I'm going to keep things very simple with different terracottas for the walls and floor and with a wood slab pattern for the ceiling. I then break up the large room into three sections. First, we have a chest area and some furnaces, both decorated around with spruce blocks. In the middle, we will have an empty hallway leading to a future mining area. The walls separating these areas are made with slabs instead of full blocks to make the space Space feel larger and the large window helps with that as well. Lastly, a small living room and a second door leading to a future room are added to the final section. The idea here is for you to download this map, link in the description below, and start your adventures from this location and for you to add on to this house in your own style. Now for visibility and to prevent mob spawning, I place torches on top of cobblestone wall so they are slightly more stylish than a simple torch. And with that, our build is complete. As always, thanks for sticking around to the end and watching through the entire video. If you are new to the channel and aren't subscribed yet, I would totally recommend subscribing because I have some very cool videos in the making and I think you'll enjoy. To be specific, the next video will be an end city transformation. So if that excites you, look out for a post in the near future. Give this video a like if you liked it, a dislike if you didn't, and comment below what things you would like to see me build in the future. Also, come and join my Discord and follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to connect. I'm Spikeosaurus and I will see you in the next video.
Show. 